So this is the start of a brand new little reef aquarium. Um, we've got some quad T5 lights on it. Which are pretty cool. And it has plenty of lighting. A power head for some surface agitation. Um, running off a canister filter with some marine pure and poly filter in it. Um, the aquarium is just in its cycling phase at the moment. So this is all living rock. Um, as you can see with the living rock, what we're actually trying to do is touch the living rock on points, then arch the rocks over in order to create as much elevation as possible to put your corals on top of. Because once this is a well-established aquarium, you won't see this living rock hardly at all. The living rock is just going to provide a structure to put the live corals on. So the living rock is when, when you get a live coral and the coral dies, what the coral releases is this skeleton which is the living rock itself. So there's some cholesteria there, there's some um, porites there, um, these are aquaporas here. So these are all the skeletons of corals. And the reason why it's called living rock is because it's totally alive with microorganisms. So most of them invisible, but definitely some of them visible. We can see some little worms which are starting to bury through the sand. And over time the live rock will make the sand live sand. So all microorganisms will start to inhabit the sand. And that's why I'm a fan of thin layers of sand. Because if you've only got a thin layer of sand, then you're more likely for it to stay what's called nitrifying. If your sand starts to get very thick, then the nitrifying bacteria takes all the oxygen. Then underneath it you start to form anaerobic and then anoxic bacteria. And the anoxic bacteria can discharge hydrogen sulfide if disturbed. So a thin layer of sand is what I'm a fan of. I'm not saying it's the only way of doing it. So the, the um, sand will soon become live sand once the microorganisms um, start to inhabit it. The rock is full of bacteria, little corals, little crustaceans, and all these things really act like the worms in a compost heap to provide filtration for the aquarium in the long run. So it provides structure, it provides life, it provides filtration, just as long as there's plenty of water flow. The water flow is really important. You want about 14 times an hour water flow and if you do want to start putting corals on it you're really aiming for one watt per litre lighting. But I'll show you the progress of this aquarium. Um, this is the, if you look through the YouTube video and you see the 40 year old tank that had some koi and silver dollars in it. Um, this is what we've done with that tank. So this is phase one of converting that same tank into a beautiful reef tank. Here's a very interesting little fish. These are juvenile marbled fenestratus. They get very colourful when they're older. Extremely beautiful with reds and blacks and blues and all the rest of it. As you can see, they don't really have a lot of colour as a baby, but then again, nor neither do the normal fenestratus. That's very common of most of these fish, that they'll really develop their colour as they get older. I found their temperaments usually pretty good, not as aggressive as many other um, South American cichlids or Central American cichlids. But when you see these in full colour, they're really worth checking out. So if you want a relatively good temperamented fish that'll grow to a nice large size with lots of colour, think about giving these guys a crack. Eats anything. I love their spectrum. Beautiful fish. Now this is a fish I really love. This is the green horse face, which is a geophagus. So it's a little fish that digs in the bottom. As they get older they get this beautiful pearl coloration through their body and their fins get quite long. 
they're quite peaceful so you can have them with most community fish as long as the community fish don't fit in their mouth they do dig in the bottom a lot which is great for keeping the tank clean but can be an issue for uprooting plants they've just got that beautiful face on them it looks almost like a puppet very spectacular adult so if you're looking for quite a peaceful fish to go into your fish tank these green horse face geophagus are really